Hello Aries, here is your weekly guidance for week beginning April the 15th. And this week I'm using the Game of Friends tarot deck. And I also have the lovely spirit animal oracle cards as well for you this week. And of course my room, so I should be drawing you a room as well. So we're going to take a look at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And then your weekend guidance will be uploaded on a Thursday morning. So do look out for that. Okay, so what's coming in for Aries, please? What does Aries need to know? First card, Aries, the Magician. Good start to the week. That's a positive omen, the Magician. In fact, it's a card that all often reminds me of Aries. Your second card, Eight of Swords. Hmm. Third card for Wednesday, Seven of Cups. Hmm. Fourth card, Thursday, the Devil card. Okay, so let's have a brief overview of the cards first and then we'll look at them day by day okay so initially what i feel for the week ahead is that <clears throat> some of you may be feeling as if you need to break free of something or someone now it could be to do with something such as a relationship it could be a work situation or something that is kind of preventing you from, from doing the things you want to do or being the person that you are. Now, the Magician card comes in on Monday and this is a card that relates to creativity. So it's asking you to sort of think outside of the box on Monday especially if you're trying to find a way forward okay because it just appears to be a feeling of being stuck for some of you as indicated here on Tuesday with the eight of swords now this could be a situation holding you back but it could also be your own fears that you're projecting onto that situation or that person. You know, perhaps things aren't quite as bad as they seem and there is a way around this or a way forward. And I feel as if on Monday you're going to have some very good ideas in terms of how you can kind of get moving. And your third card on Wednesday is the Seven of Cups. Now, this indicates there will be options for you to look at, especially on Wednesday. And it will kind of be up to you to, to sort of take a very good look and make sure that you're choosing correctly. It's also a card that indicates there is a need to stay grounded in your approach, okay? So, you know, don't look at things through rose-coloured glasses, in other words, on Wednesday. You may feel tempted to do that, especially if this is concerning a relationship or something that has uh, emotional connotations. So whatever it is on Wednesday, keep your feet firmly on the ground when it comes to deciding your way forward or what you want to do in this situation. Because the devil card tells me on Thursday, you know, something is pulling you in, kind of keeping you there, keeping you stuck, um, you know, but inside of you, you want to break free of this. Now, this could be to do with your general life. Maybe you're feeling a little bit stifled lately, Aries, and you do like to be free. You know, you can't hold an Aries back for long. And I feel as if this week it's like you're wanting to make your escape. But on Thursday, there's this temptation to pull back. Something or someone is pulling you back. And as I say, if it's not a situation or person, it could be your own fears that are holding you there, okay? 
So it's about getting a grip on reality, especially on Wednesday, okay? So let's choose a rune for you now for the week ahead, Aries. Okay, you have the rune Wunyo, and when this card comes out, you can expect light at the end of the tunnel, okay? So if some of you are feeling quite stressed about things at the moment, this is a rune of joy, okay? And it's asking you to let go of your worries. It's asking you to tap into that inner child inside of you. And us Aries, we are known to be uh, very youthful in our ways. But sometimes that can get lost. And, and this rune is coming out to remind you of that part of you which I feel may have been hidden recently. Perhaps because we've you've got this situation or of feeling within you that is kind of oppressing that 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 fun side of who you are Aries okay and it's asking you to to focus on the present right now instead of worrying so much it's also urging you to remain positive and letting you know that there is a successful solution to this situation or feeling that you're experiencing right now so now let's look at the Spirit Animal Oracle deck, which is a beautiful deck. I have recently unboxed this deck on YouTube, if you'd like to take a good look at it. The lovely cards, and um, this is the first time I'm using them. So let's see who your spirit animal is this week. There it is. The Dog Spirit. I love this particular um, animal spirit. The dog spirit speaks about loyalty. It, it speaks about being loyal to yourself as well as others. And I feel with regard to this week's reading, Aries, this is asking you to remain loyal to your values, to be true to yourself, okay? You know, don't give yourself up in order to please others, in other words, okay? So, yeah, just step into who you are this week, Aries, and allow that joy to flow through as well, okay? And do stay positive, because there is a way forward. You have the magician here. And that is your reading for the week ahead, Aries. If you've enjoyed it, give it a like and subscribe. And also, if you'd like to order a reading, you can do so at my link below at Sarah's Tarot. Have a lovely week, Aries, and do look out for the weekend guidance, won't you? Bye for now.